5 seconds to go. Start Mr. Deputy Chairman, Sir, this is the first address by the Honorable President after the elections to the new Lok Sabha. Democracy itself, Sir, is a great leveler and elections in a democracy themselves are a leveler except that they can occasionally produce harsh results which involve winners and losers. But democracy itself, when it produces winners and losers, confers upon the winner the great sense of responsibility. Today morning, when I came to the house, I thought that when the speakers from the treasury benches initiate the motion, that burden of responsibility will confer a sense of modesty and humility. And I must express the deep sense of disappointment that I found it grossly lacking. However, we in the opposition certainly do not intend to be provoked by this attitude of lack of modesty and humility which a winner must inherently have because we were told from beginning to the end where most of us in the opposition have gone wrong and where our conduct and attitude was to be found lacking. Those who are defeated in an election also have a responsibility in a democracy and that responsibility is to conduct yourself with a certain amount of graciousness, have a certain amount of dignity, but at least have a sense of determination and fulfill the role which is conferred on you. And sir, that role which is conferred on us, I can assure you is a role which we will discharge purely guided by national interest. There are going to be several areas where we are going to support and even endorse the position of the government. That is what is expected from us. There are going to be several areas where we have to caution the government particularly when certain pitfalls are visible and when we find the government going astray needless to mention we are going to fiercely oppose the government on those occasions that is a responsibility which is conferred on us and i can assure you this house and the country through this house that various sections of the opposition in their own way are going to discharge this responsibility which is also a responsibility which is conferred on us in a democracy. Sir, I have no hesitation in admitting after a lot has been said about the election results that for me and my party 
the election results were a disappointment we accept that with humility at our command sir we read some very clear messages emerging out of these election results and some of these messages that we can read very clearly are that the electorate of this country is conscious of the fact that we live in an era of coalitions and an era of coalitions can also occasionally bring disturbances and even road blocks in the functioning of the government perhaps one of the great motivating factors to the indian voter was a great desire for political stability and therefore the electorate pursued by that desire gave to the congress party over 200 seats let them therefore be very conscious of this fact that 206 seats in parliament are not akin to 403 seats in parliament that they got in 1984 and therefore the manner in which they have to conduct themselves must also be conditioned by this fact the electorate did want political stability and therefore in the last 5 years when we found the government lacking on several fronts it may not be as an endorsement by the voter of india of areas where the government was found to be wanting there are several areas we can have a discussion at an appropriate time over them but it was this desire for political stability and when this desire for political stability has given them a larger number of seats the indian voter is now not going to accept any reason for non performance in the last 5 years it could be blamed on the reason today it is being sought to be blamed on us but once you have a figure which is closer to the half way mark along with your allies no reason for failure is going to be accepted this time for which you have got the benefit of doubt in the last 5 years at the same time the indian voters have shown an immense amount of maturity but even when we were losing in a large number of states where the non congress parties have performed well those non congress parties including my own party our allies in several states some others who have moved away from us either got an overwhelmingly large number of seats in those states or in some states at least got an absolute number of seats and therefore this is 
a clear mandate as of the electorate as we understand it today. I also do understand that the mandate today is also a representative of an aspirational India. People want India to grow, but we are cautious of the fact that when they want India to grow, this growth is at two levels. Stop.